Well guys, today is a special day. 800 subscribers. I cannot thank you guys enough for supporting me every step of the way. It's been great to have a kind and happy fan base. And in this fan base, we help each other out. And that's what I wanted to build up since I started YouTube. And I finally got that dream to become true. So I just want to give you guys a big fat thank you. And as a gift from me to you for these 800 subscribers, I'm going to be starting a new mini series called Concept Conspiracies. And in this mini series, I would take a concept art and I would talk about what this could have done in the Transformers Cinematic Universe. And I think it's going to be a great mini series. Nobody else has done it. And I believe it's just going to be an overall great idea. And now I want to address some big channel changes. So currently our upload schedule is what if I survived? theory what if i survived and so on and so forth but where's the news lately on my channel slogan it's weekly theories and news where has been all the theories and the news in fact there has been no news for at least seven weeks so it's time for me to fix that what i'm thinking i'm going to be doing is doing three theories and then a what if i survive because i want to kind of you know stick on theories because Theories is in the name itself, and I can't focus all my time into some What If I Survive videos. Yes, they get a lot of views, and definitely more than theories, but it's trans theories, not trans Tory views, and I'm actually thinking of taking the collection updates down just because it seems like, well, one, I don't know, I can't speak for everyone, but that video got four dislikes. So what I'm thinking is, maybe it's not just for people who don't like it, maybe it's because it's not the best quality video. And I strive for quality on my channel, so what I'm thinking is getting rid of that completely and replacing it with concept conspiracies. But I want you guys to decide in the poll that I'm going to put up if you want to still have the collection updates and unboxing videos. So click yes if you want it, click no if you don't. I need that by the end of the day so I can decide. But concept conspiracies is going to be a new mini series and it's going to stick in the channel. So what do you guys think about the new upload schedule that's going to be happening after What If I Survive Devastator? And for that video, I believe I edited it up to 10 minutes, but I stopped once I saw the 800 subscriber notification, so I gotta give you guys another big fat thank you for making this dream of mine actually come true, because I know a lot of times on the way, people said, no, you can't do it, you're not gonna be successful, but look at me. I have a young fan base and some teenagers in my fan base, and I'm proud that each and every one of you. I love reading all the comments you guys have to say, even criticism. Now, criticism could be two different things. A hate comment like this one, or it could be actually something that could benefit the channel and I take criticism very heavily because a long time ago I don't know who said it but I used to have this sound effect for every time I had an arrow on screen and to some people that got very annoying so it was a win-win for me taking that sound effect out because it took a long time to edit actually in there because I would have to cut the mp3 and then actually put it into the video and that took quite a long time actually to do I don't know why and it would always take around like 30 seconds to do and it took a long time for each one but I'm actually happy that criticism went through because it made my videos better and not that annoying ding sound every time I had to point something out so I just want to thank you guys again for this beautiful experience you're giving me and Every day we have new subscribers and I love the comments you have to say and I answer every single comment you have to offer. Now sometimes it may take longer for me to answer some comments because I go to the spam box but I promise you eventually they'll be there. On the topic of hate comments now, those are the only comments I delete. Now there could be something that is like hateful but I don't actually take it out. But if it's something like, you know, very very bad that affects other viewers of the channel or bully, I take that out because I don't want you guys get bullied because you guys to me are my main priority to make you guys have a fun time watching trans theories and if the upload schedule yes i know there's no videos for like a whole week and no good videos in fact and i always think that the collection update videos are the weakest because if you look at the thumbnail they aren't the best and the quality on them is not the best and like i said i strive for quality but it seems like you guys enjoy it so i don't want to take that enjoyment away from you guys but a lot of people seem like they don't really like that and they wanted me to stick with theories so what i may do as a win-win so let's say i get five or seven figures and i would do a video of each and every single one of them in one video and i guess that would satisfy the majority so i think that's okay to do but i'm just thinking of taking it out completely just because it's not the best quality and i don't have a good camera for that now hearing all this you may be wondering trance why are you doing all these changes well the real reason is we're going to be hitting 1000 subscribers pretty quickly and i want to mold my channel into something that's going to be long lasting with no mistakes and yes no channels per 
perfect, but I want to represent myself as a professional image. That people can see this channel that's actually a good channel and it makes good content. And that's what I'm hoping for. But yet again, you got the channel title. And well, this is just for me. And some people have said in the comments before. But if you look up trans theories, yes, it shows trans theories. But then it also pops up with a lot of other transgender stuff. Now there's nothing wrong with transgender. I'm just going to say that flat out. I'm not against it at all. But the thing is, I don't want people thinking it's a channel about transgender. Now, I know you see Onslaught and Chocolate on the thing of like, trans. How are people going to mistake that? Well, a lot of people at school do, and that's one of the reasons why I get made fun of. But hey, I have 800 subscribers, so they can kiss my toothpicks. But, like I say, guys, without you, I would not have the enjoyment of making videos. And this dream is all thanks to you guys. Now, I don't know how much you guys will think of this thank you, but to me, it means the whole world to me, and it's all thanks to you guys. Like, you are the center of Trans Theories. Without my viewers, Trans Theories is nothing. And also the reason why the upload schedule is a bit short is I go to a prep school, so I get more homework than usual. So it does alter the time I have on editing videos, like what if I survive Devastator, and I promise you guys, Devastator is a great video, it'll be out soon. I know it takes forever to edit, but once it is out, it is gonna be the best what if I survive you ever seen. And the funny thing is, the What If I Survive series only has three episodes. And looking at my channel, it seems like there's like every two weeks there's only like two videos or so. That's what I see, or like three or four. And I really gotta bring up that upload schedule, but you see, in my videos, to the smallest point, I fix everything to make it perfect. And that's maybe one of the reasons what brings me down in the upload time, but like I said, quality is better than quantity. I can have a lot of videos, but they may not be that good. But if I have at least one good solid video for the week, then that's perfect. And that's what I strive for. And these videos do take a long time to make, especially ones that are over 20 minutes. And I always want to keep in the 5 to 10 minute time range in these videos because they don't take that long to edit in the 5 to 10. But 20, because it's a What If I Survive video, it takes a lot of time. And here's a fun fact about my channel editing. So it all starts out in the scripting stage where I type up the script and everything, then it it goes on to the audio stage once the script is refined and all the typos are gone. Then comes the editing stage. Now there's two editing stages. Actually there's three. Well, one for the script, but I already covered that. Two for the audio. Now audio editing takes forever because sometimes I have to do voiceovers or I have to restart the whole thing because I don't think it's good. And I swear, for me right now talking, it's fine. I have an easy time talking because I'm not looking off a script right now. I'm saying this out of my mind. But for me, I have a hard time reading scripts and that's something about me that I want you guys to know. I do not have the easiest time reading scripts. So it's harder for me to read scripts and that's the main thing on this channel, but it turns out to be really good and that's just because of some disabilities. Besides the script thing, I gotta still give you guys another big fat thank you and I know keep on saying thank you here thank you there and thank you everywhere but you guys deserve it and i don't know what i can do to pay you guys back because i was thinking of doing an amazon gift card giveaway but i honestly don't know how to do giveaways and mail it to people but maybe once i get a thousand we'll do something into that i'll look it up and that type of stuff but i really want to get more active with you guys because i can't do discord and i can't do gmail or hangouts or any of that stuff yet because of you know personal issues but i just want to tell you each and every one of you who give a comment on the video have a great impression on me each and every one of you are transformers fans it connects all my viewers, every single one of you guys have a unique Transformers mind and personality. And I'm very happy that you guys can learn something new from me and enjoy the content. Because ever since, and here's a true fact, every time I made something, I was always criticized or brung down about it. But here, I feel like my work helps a lot of people. It doesn't make just me happy, but it makes a whole lot of other people happy. And seeing 15k on a video, you do not know how happy that makes me. And seeing 800 subscribers, 800 people who tap the subscriber button. You know how big of a thing that is? Like, I do not take that for granted at all. I think that 800 people who support me out of kindness is just the best people in this world to me. And that you love my videos, you enjoy it. Yes, there's haters, but trust me, if you are thinking of making a Transformers theory video or a channel about Transformers, if you get haters, it's always gonna happen. 
no matter what, somebody's gonna rain on your praise, and you can't do anything about it. But don't let them get to your head. Think about the good people who enjoy your videos, the ones who are always there for you, like every single one in my fan base. even though I never gave you a shout out in any of my videos, any theory that you never even comment on. Maybe you comment on a video three months ago. I still have your name on a Google Doc that says for the video that's going to be posted and has your name for me saying it. I type it in and boom, you're going to be on that video. So I never leave anybody out. If I see a comment that you want to have a video idea, I automatically copy and paste your name and put it into the Google Doc. And trust me, that video, I promise you, as long as I can do trans theories, will be made. And you are on there on the Google Doc, so don't be scared, because you will definitely get that shout out. And yes, I sometimes slip up with people not giving them a shout out. Like this one person that I did in my Q&A video, and I still feel really bad to this day not adding him on there, but I made up for my mistake and I put him in the next video, and I'm proud that he appreciated my apology and he accepted. And I'm actually very happy he still watches me, even though that may have made him very sad that they made a subscriber special without him that he should have been in. But I'm very happy he's happy. So, all in all, trans theorists, without you guys, I could not have this dream. I could not be happy about doing something that I love. Because of my knowledge of Transformers, you bring that knowledge to life. And I can maybe, maybe if I'm lucky enough, actually make a career out of this once I get a thousand subscribers and get paid. And that means a lot to me that I can actually make a living on something I love. It's a dream job. And that's something you guys should look into. Yes, I know most of you are young and you don't think about getting jobs yet, but the future is changing. And YouTube right now apparently is a substantial job you can do good. And I gotta tell you this, guys. My first YouTube channel was Jason TRS. It was a gaming channel. Yes, it got 68 subscribers. And I gotta thank those 68 people that they actually watched my channel. And what I tried to do was contact each of one of those 68, but none of them actually responded, so they may be dead accounts. So then I made a new channel, and this was Trans Theories. Now, originally, it was gonna be Jolt Gaming, which I said in the QA video. And I'm gonna be honest with you guys. If I did a gaming channel, I would not have the success that I have right now. I do something different and unique. Thanks to you guys, like I said for like the 8 billion time, but I just can't stop thanking you guys that you guys bring this dream to life. And if I was a gaming channel, I don't even think I would have you guys watching me. I would have a whole different audience. And plus, there's thousands upon thousands of gaming channels out there. And if you are thinking of doing a gaming channel, I'm not trying to bring you down if you can't succeed. Because you can definitely succeed if you can branch out there and you can make an identity for yourself. Like, for me, I have my own distinctive personality in some way, shape, or form because I talk behind the trans theory screen. And once we hit a thousand subscribers, you're gonna actually know what I look like because I swear, you do not know how many comments I get for trans do a face reveal, trans do this. And I know, I know you guys want to see it, and I promise you, when we hit a thousand, it's gonna be done. And it's only 200 more subscribers away. And I know this is starting to turn out into a long video, and I know I said sorry, and my god, looking at the timeline right now on Audacity, this part of the video was 11 minutes long. So, I guess I should just end it here. Well guys, all in all, thank you for making my day. Thank you for making me enjoy life even more than I did. Thank you for letting me live a dream that I never thought was possible. Thank you for being kind and nice and tuning in no matter what type of video it is, even if it's the best video in the world or it was not the best video. Thank you for sticking around. Thank you for always being there for me and thank you for watching this video. Well, this is Trance just telling you guys that you mean a lot to me. And seeing you guys actually going on my other subscribers accounts makes me very happy because I connected everyone. And yes, it's another rant. I'm sorry, guys, but I promise it's going to be the end right here. Well, this is Trance Theories signing off with a big fat thank you from the bottom of my heart. Goodbye, everyone, and have a nice rest of your day. Well, you call